Hello, my name is Chloe, welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing to you my August book haul. This month I hauled a few more books than I was anticipating. I think it's 16 and I've already read one of those. But you know, I feel like I've got to check my notes even though I did that just before I started filming. Okay, it is 16. I don't know why I doubted myself. I just did, but now I have double checked my books. I have some that I bought myself and some that I have been gifted by you lovely people. The stack I've been gifted this month is insane. So thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart before I get started. Like I'm just so, so honored to be receiving gifts from you guys. So let's start off with the books I bought myself this month. The first one being um, Keeping 13 by Chloe Walsh. So I bought myself this about 30 seconds after finishing the first book. I just couldn't wait. I couldn't go and read my normal TBR and not carry on with this series. So I had to buy this very quickly on Amazon and um, you will have actually seen it in my August wrap up. So I will link that video, go back, over there to hear my thoughts on this book. And then we kind of have a mix of secondhand books from a charity shop, secondhand from Vinted and full price new books that I haven't read yet. So I did grab Seven Summers by Paige Toon and I'd heard about this one because somebody I know that isn't really a big reader, like more of a holiday reader, was taking it on their holiday and they told me about it. It sounds really, really good. And obviously I've read some Paige Toon in the past and have loved it. So I wanted to grab this one. I found it in Sainsbury's for £4.50 and it has sprayed edges, so I couldn't not. Um, but this one is about Liv and Finn who meet working a bar on the rugged Cornish, rugged Cornish coastline. When a night of passion ends in tragedy, their hearts are bound together inextricably. But Finn must return home to LA so they make a promise. Finn will come back every year and if they're single, they will spend the summer together. So I'm not gonna read more into that. It's kind of giving me um, November 9. I'm quite excited to read this one. Page Toon did a really good look at UK versus US in um, Only Love Can Hurt Like This. So I think this is gonna be a really good one for me. Just realized Alfonso's legs are like sticking out here. Then the two books I got myself on Vinted, so secondhand, but not exactly like cheap, cheap. And they're about five pound each are Scarred and Wretched by Emily McIntyre. These are in the Hooked series. I'm not sure what the series is actually called, um, but I had books one, four and five, so I had to get myself two and three. I actually read this one via audio in August. So again, my thoughts will be in my wrap up, but I really wanted to get a physical copy. So I added this one to my collection. Um, and then Wretched, I haven't read, but there's no point buying book two and not book three at the same time, right? We're following Evelina, who's always been the bad guy, the brains, the brawn and botanist behind her family's drug empire. She's her father's ruthless secret weapon. After a one night stand with a gorgeous man at a nightclub, she sated her urges and is back to her criminal ways. That is until the same man shows up as the new westerly lackey under a totally different name. These books are fun. That's all I have to say about that. I then have some books I got from the charity shop and it was on this visit to the charity shop that I realized there has to be a booktuber, bookstagrammer, book talker who lives in this area because of some of the books I found. So the first one is Trust In Me by Sophie McKenzie. This was kind of just an impulse buy because it was buy three books, get a free one. So I grabbed this one on the deal. Chelsea really loves Sophie McKenzie. So I trust Chelsea and um, I'm expecting this to be a really fun, easy thriller. We then have Maggie Moves On by Lucy Score. This is in perfect condition and I'd actually never heard of this Lucy Score book when I saw it there. Um, so I kind of was like, mm, don't know what to do about it but we've got a little small town romance and that's all I need to hear. I also found The Worst Best Man by Lucy Score. This one I'd heard lots more about and I actually bought this for a friend once. Um, didn't buy it for myself, not really sure why, but for like £1.50, who can say no? But the reason I know that there is a bookish creator is I found Another Life by Jodie Chapman. And I knew I'd heard of this, but I didn't know where I'd heard of it from. Sounded really familiar. And when I opened the back cover, it was full of the tandem reading prompts. And I remembered that where I'd heard about this book was from requesting to be on the tandem book tour. So I was like, ah, I finally have it just through a charity shop. So there has to be someone near here. I realize I haven't told you much about these books. I don't wanna bog this video down with just me reading blurbs, but we have twisty adult thriller. We have a small town romance. We have an enemies to lovers romance and we have more of like a literary contemporary fiction. This is one I always say gives me normal people vibes. So very interested in all of those. One thing I did do this month is try not to buy any books 
that either weren't on my wish list or didn't massively appeal to me at the point of buying. So hopefully I've executed that well. Then we move on to the gifts this month and everyone has been so, so lovely to me. We've had my new job, we've had 200 vlogs and we've had 3,500 subscribers. So all of those things combined have meant some lovely, lovely gifts. The first one I have here is Good Girls Don't Die by Christina Henry. And this was a gift from Rachel Fisher. So thank you, Rachel. This is like a horror thriller, I guess. We're following Celia, Ali and Maggie. And I'll just read Celia's paragraph here because that's all I needed to get hooked in. It says, Celia wakes up in a house that isn't hers. She doesn't recognise her husband or the little girl who claims to be her daughter. She tries to remember who she was before because she is certain that this life, the little family run restaurant she owns, the gossipy small town she lives in is not hers sounds so so good thank you rachel for enabling me to read this one we then have some gifts from joe that blew me away we have saving six redeeming six and taming seven all by chloe walsh these are books three four and five in the boys of ton men series and after i read and loved binding 13 and what's it called keeping 13 i was just so so looking forward to getting this book but i hadn't purchased it myself because i was trying to read what was actually on my tbr but joe couldn't have that she was like no you need to read it so these ones are both like five six hundred page romances this is on bible paper it is 912 pages long like the flop on this is madness so for now books four and five will be heading to my bookshelves and saving six i'm going to have tried to have read before this video even goes live because i am in love with this series we then had two books from the lovely laura the first one being the right move by liz tom ford this is the second book in the mile high series i haven't yet read mile high but i've heard really good things this is a sports romance we've got an mba um captain the last thing i need is, is the distraction of my sister sister's best friend moving into my apartment we have a brother's well a sister's best friend sibling's best friend romance which is my favorite trope in romances ever so uh the sports i can get behind <laughs> but what we're really here for is the sibling's best friend she also got me powerless by lauren roberts this is a ya ya fantasy that has been making the rounds on all the bookish platforms i am so appreciative to have this because i can finally get involved in the hype i've heard really good things the mother-in-law wants to read it too so she wants to hear my opinion before she does hunted hunter destined for each other be swept away by the first in an epic and sizzling fantasy romance trilogy taking the world by storm i would love to be swept away so thank you very much laura and moving on from that one we also had reckless by lauren roberts and this was a gift from liam so thank you so so much liam for sending me a gift your note with this one was just so meaningful to me and yeah really really made me smile so thank Thank you so much i can't tell the viewers much about this book because it is the second book in this series so i don't know anything about it myself but thank you liam for adding another book to my collection and then last but by no means least we have episode 13 by craig de which was a gift from marlene so thank you again marlene for your kindness this is a horror and it is told about a team of paranormal investigators doing their own little TV show and the things that go wrong and as the house begins to slowly reveal itself to the crew, proof of an afterlife might not be everything Matt dreamed of. This brings a terrifying twist to the found footage genre when a reality TV show's crew find themselves trapped in a nightmare of their own creation. So really happy to have this. I am hooked on paranormal reality tv and this sounds like such a fun time so there we have it those are all of the books that i hauled in august technically i've been quite well behaved but people's gifts really just blew me out of the park this month so thank you so much again guys if you have any comments on any of these books and whether i should prioritize to read them please do let me know down in the comments but for now that's all i have time for today so thank you very very much for watching this video i really do hope you enjoyed and i will see you in my next one bye